Hello friends, welcome back. In first video, you saw a quick demonstration of this application. In this video, we'll go through all the installation instructions required to deploy this app. You will be able to download and find entire source code at this GitHub repository. I'm going to include the link to this GitHub repository to the video description. First thing you will notice, there's a readme file. It includes the complete installation instructions. Please notice that as I upgrade this repository to the newer Flutter versions, I'll be updating the installation instructions. So please always make sure that you read and follow all these installation instructions from this readme file. Another issue is oftentimes the YouTube code does not match with the GitHub repository. In that case, you can always browse to the file and go to this GitHub version control and you will be able to see the entire history of all the changes done over the period of time. Last thing I want to mention in case you have any issues, please do not comment on YouTube videos. Instead, go to this GitHub repository, click on issues and always open a new issue log. Also, I would suggest please include as many error logs, as screenshots, uh, as much information as you can to this issue log so that I can help you uh, after reviewing those. While you review the code, please be kind enough and give a start to this repository. And also, please go to my YouTube channel and do not forget to subscribe and like these videos. If you give me a star, like my videos, these are the small little things which keep me motivated. So without any further delay, let's get started. First thing you will need is a Flutter installation. So open a browser window, go to flutter.dev, click on get started. First thing you will notice, install. So depending on the machine you are using, Windows, Linux or Max, please choose the appropriate installation instructions. For Windows, it's pretty simple. All you need to do, download the zip file and unzip to an, any non-elevated folder. That means it doesn't need to be a C program files. You can download this uh, zip file to anywhere in your local drive. And next thing you want you to do, once you unzip it, you have to locate the flutter.exe and most probably is under the bin directory. What you want to do, you want to locate that pile and go to your system environment variable and add a path there so that you know your system can find um, your flutter.exe file. For Linux based operating system like Mac OS, Chrome OS, or any Linux machine, instructions are pretty much the same. You have to download the Flutter SDK and make sure that you update your path so that your system can locate where Flutter installation is there. And once you issue the Flutter related command like Flutter Doctor, it will be able to locate and initiate your Flutter. All right. Next thing you will need is an IDE. Android. Most of the people like Android Studio because it provides your complete IDE, that means integrated development environment, um, including the emulator, so people prefer Android. Just in case, you can also use a lot of different code editors like VS Code, IntelliJ, a lot of other options are available. Depending on your choice, please go and go ahead and download an, any code editor of your choice. In my case, I'm going to use VS Code. So let's go start downloading the VS Code. Let's open Google and type VS Code. It will take you to the VS Code uh, website. And here, de again, depending on your system configuration, please download VS Code version. All right, in my case, it's Windows, so I'm going to download Windows. I already have one, so I don't need to install that again. So I'm just going to open my VS Code uh, code editor. Now, next thing I want to do in VS Code editor, you have to download the extension. So click on the extension and search for Flutter. A quick search will bring you the Flutter. And as you can see, all you need to do, click install and you will be able to install the Flutter extension. One thing you'll notice, the Flutter automatically installed Dart for you. So you don't need to explicitly uh, install Dart. All right, so now I have Flutter and Dart both installed. So next thing I want to do, quickly open Control J, that means open any terminal uh, window here. And next command I want to type is Flutter Doctor. Now this command Flutter Doctor will give you a quick overview of all the uh, Flutter installer related uh, configuration on your machine. As you can see, uh, I have uh, I do not have Android tool chain, which I don't need because I will be most you know most mostly I will be using the Flutter web version, so I don't need that. But I also need an emulator. So in this my case, I will be using Chrome related or any web browser as my emulator. So this is fine. Um, please make sure, depending on your what kind of application you are building, please take a moment and review uh, if you need to uh, if you are building it for Android. Make sure that you have Android tool chain uh, installed here. Okay, now you have a working Flutter version, you have a code editor. Next thing, you want to go to this repository, open a terminal window, create a new directory, mkdir, hms, or any directory where you want to install this application. I'm going to browse this to this directory. If you have the git installed, what you can do, git clone, and you can directly give the part to this git repository. If you do not have that, don't worry about that. You can always download the entire source code in a zip file, and you have to just extract the whole zip file. Here, if you have the git installed, so, 
next thing you want to do git clone and give the path to this repository and once you hit enter what is going to do is going to the go is will go to the github and download the entire source code in few few seconds first time when you open your code you will see a lot of errors and the reason there is errors because you have not installed any uh, flutter packages yet that's why there's a reason it's giving you all the error so now let's go try to locate your pubspec.yaml file now this is the file which keeps all the flutter packages so make sure take a moment and review all the packages installed here all right next thing you want to do once you open up the file automatically it will trigger that it will say okay do you want me to run um, and get all the packages if not then you can always go to this repository go to browse to the directory and issue a command called flutter pubcat Make sure that you are inside the directory where pubspec.yml file is. So in my case, as you can see, it's in, as inside the SRC directory. So go cd into SRC directory and then you can issue a command called flutter pubcat. Once you do that, it's going to download all the uh, flutter packages. And once you install all the flutter packages, you will immediately notice all the errors. You will see everything red is gone. So make sure before you start working on your application, you do not are not supposed to see anything in red that means there is no errors anywhere in this application if you see an error please stop here and open an issue at this github repository immediately all right so as you can see everything compiled pretty good right now there are no errors next thing you want to do go inside the lib and uh, sorry web and inside uh, open a file called index.html you will see a variable called firebase config this is where all the backend information will be stored so now let's go i want you to create a backend so in my in this case i have a backend called firebase in case if you're not familiar with firebase is firebase is google uh, online database so let's go create an account all you need is a google account uh, to create a new firebase database so in my case i already have one but always go to the but you can always create one yeah, as long as you have a gmail now next thing i want to do while you are at the firebase create a new project and click on the authentication so in authentication depending on what kind of social authentication you want to add to your system as you can see in my case i have an email id and password so make sure your email id password is checked if you like facebook if you like google base so make sure you enable those authentication um, uh, authentication options here if you are not familiar with this don't worry about that is next follow up videos i'll be going through all of this firebase details in i'll make a separate video on this firebase um, how to set up the rules and everything over there all right so in this case as you can see i'm going to quickly uh, enable the authentication for three different different options facebook um, google and uh, email id and password so once you do that next thing i want you to do go to cloud fly fire store now here as you can see you will go to the next tab called rules this is where you define all the rules so as you can at the first moment there will be a blank slide there will be nothing out there and, and even if whatever is there delete everything out there next thing you want to do go to readme file and in readme file there is a section and you will find all the rules i have written it up here all i want you to do please copy paste all of these things as is please do not make any um, mistakes or any copy paste error just copy paste the entire thing and paste it over there again i'm going to review all these firebase rules in details in follow-up videos for now to complete the installation just please copy paste the rules as is and paste it to the firebase uh, fire stores rules tab all right copy let's go here paste and once you paste it please save it and make sure that it compiles you are not supposed to see any error there please take a minute to review that that it compiles and you are able to save your uh, firebase store rules appropriately without any error after it compiles good i want you to go to project settings and here you will find app settings app configurations values so if you scroll down i want you to copy all this configuration as is again please make sure to take a moment and review this please make no misspelling mistakes these settings should exactly match what inside your code is in, in your index.html otherwise your application is not going to work so go to your index.html and replace all these firebase config uh, values out there with the values from your backend all right save that's all you need for the um, um, for the configuration perspective first time okay let's review it one more time then save it perfect now let's go go to the src directory now this is the time you are ready to run your application so flutter and make sure that you're inside the src directory where your pubspec.yml file is you want to do flutter run hyphen d chrome 
So what I'm telling this uh, Flutter that run this application and make sure that Chrome is your connected device and Chrome is working as a as an emulator here. So if everything works well without any error, you will it will compile and it will open a Chrome window out there. Please make sure that you do not see any error. If it if you see any error, please take a screenshot and open an issue at the uh, at this GitHub repository issue log, and I'll be happy to help you out. Okay, once this compiles well, so you will notice that it will open a Chrome window out there. What else you can do? I like you know everything in VS Code, so I you you can just copy paste that in inside the VS Code. You can use an extension called Simple Browser. So let me open the Simple Browser. So that everything inside the VS Code is just optional. You can always go ahead and use VS, uh, sorry, Chrome browser. Nothing stops you. So in simple browser, I'm going to open this. All right. So next thing I want to see, it should compile and run. All right. You will see a a, a message called like you know um, a, some some uh, demo credentials. Please ignore that. Okay, and here first thing I want you to do, I want you to sign up because there is no account created yet. So create any email ID and password. Click on submit. It should create an account. Now, if, as you can see, this is a patient account, an ordinary account. It has no privileges. So if you click on the left hand side, you will see it can just like you know you can uh, create your credential, update your own settings out there on your own personal page. It has nothing else because this has no other privileges. So. For only the first time what you want to do you have to create an admin now what i will do as you can see as you saw on the left hand side it has access to only limited navigation but you want to create an admin and that's only required for the first time an admin can create another admins but first time you have to create the admin so let's do one thing uh, as you can see this person has access to only fewer navigation like appointment messages logout and you know only the personal information uh, if you go to the cloud fire store go to the authentication you will immediately notice that this person has just logged in so again firebase does not store uh, password it stores only uid that means unique uh, universal unique identifier uh, what i want you to do i want to copy paste this url uh, sorry uid uuid and go to cloud fire store first time you will see in, it will automatically it will create a collection so inside the collection you will find a document with this matching with this uuid that's how you know that this is the person who just logged in so inside that you will see uh, there is an option called uh, a role and please manually type it admin again i keep on saying this is the only first time it is required you have to create an admin there so first time you go to that uh, browse to that collection document and create an entry role and role assign it to admin a d m i n small all everything is lowercase now log out sign out and if you log in again with the same user id and password you will see that this person is now an admin because you just made him admin now this is only required the first time next time because an admin is admin so you can log in as an admin and you will see an admin menu and you will be able to you know um, assign the rules and uh, privileges to other applications something is not working let me log out again let me try it again i apologize i made a mistake as you can see uh, the role here i gave this person is an admin and a is in caps uh, it has to be lowercase because i hard coded that way so please make sure do not make that mistake let me change this to admin a d m i n everything is lowercase now let's go sign out and try again now this time this person should immediately see access to a lot more navigation items because this person is an admin now all right that looks good now so so now i have an admin let me sign in again one more time as an admin okay now let's go browse to the users tab admin now here this is the tab where you can update other users so for example um, now I'm, I'm an admin so i can you know always go and make any other give any other roles to um, to other people that's pretty well. much it from the oh. installation perspective so if you're a developer uh, please watch out of the further uh, follow-up videos in follow-up videos what i will be doing i'll be creating this uh, whole application entirely from scratch so what that means is that i'll be writing every single line of code uh, in live video sessions so um, if you i hope you like this video and this application helps you out in case again if you have any trouble any installation issues please feel free to open an issue at the github repository and i'll, I'll be happy to help you out thank you very much